What is going on, big dream Mazio Your lady vitamin Katie is here. We're about to go on a nice grocery shopping haul and it's gonna be a quick one, so let's get to it. All right, just got to the grocery store. I remembered my mask, anti-dairy social club, use discount code vitamin Katie to get yourself a discount. I do wanna say, I don't usually do huge grocery hauls like I'm about to right now because I've been putting off grocery shopping for a while because I've been so busy. I actually live right in the middle of a few different grocery stores. Um, there's this one called Rainbow Acres. It's super cute. It's organic and it's in walking distance. So I'll literally like make an excuse sometimes to like walk there to have to buy something, you know? Um, but yeah, that didn't happen this week like at all. So we're doing a big grocery haul just at Vaughn's. And this is a regular run of the mill, you know, your average Joe grocery store. You know, you got your like bougie, love the atmosphere type of grocery stores like Whole Foods and Air One that cost too much. And then, yeah, those organic like health food stores, but they're kind of crunchy granola, not that like bougie, you know, that's like your rainbow acres. And I love Trader Joe's, but Trader Joe's is a little bit further of a drive. This was literally a five minute drive away. So we're gonna hit up Vaughn's, make it really quick and simple and easy, and I'm gonna break it down what we've got going on and why in my grocery haul today. At home, I already have the essentials. I already have things like, you know, protein powder, rolled oats, um, spices, things like that. So I'm shooting for around $50, and this should last me at least the week for what I'm about to get. So let's get into it. Before you go grocery shopping, don't forget your list. And don't forget your bags. I like to use this drawstring backpack and then we're gonna save the environment one step at a time. All right, let's go. What? Why? Okay, line enters here. Oh, let's get into it, peeps. Pro tip, make sure to get your warm things that are like in the aisles first and get your frozen or refrigerated things last so that they don't melt and they don't, you know, get messed up by the time you're done grocery shopping. You don't want to get your frozen things first, okay? So with that said, I'm gonna get my salsa, my bread, that kind of thing first, and then after we're gonna get into the other thing. So let's pick out a good loaf of bread. Let's do some comparing, shall we? Okay, I'm not even getting nut butter, but I have to freaking say something. I cannot stand, like, Oh my god, reduced fat, okay, let's see. Um, ingredients. So the thing is, is roasted peanuts, corn syrup, solids, sugar, there is pea protein added, hydrogenated vegetable oil, cottonseed and soybean oils, rapeseed oil. This is not recommended <laughs> at all because hydrogenated oils that means that they added hydrogens to the unsaturated oil to make it into a saturated fat, AKA it's a trans fat, which is super bad for you. That's like a really, really processed fat that basically acts like a saturated fat and causes heart disease and inflammation. And cottonseed, cottonseed soy and rapeseed oil, those are all genetically modified. So by purchasing this, you are contributing to a lot of environmental destruction and sadness and um, we don't want that so it looks like a healthier option where it's actually poison I highly recommend um, I don't know let's just pick out this one I guess just look at the ingredients on here let's see dry roasted organic peanuts organic palm oil so this still has oil added which is messed up um, at least the palm oil is organic because you know palm growing palm is actually it's not very environmentally friendly, that palm oil. Let's find a good one. Like I want to find one that's actually literally just says peanuts on the freaking label. Is that so hard to find around here? Okay, what's Skippy natural? Like, is that not natural? Is the other one not natural? Like what's the deal with that? Um, this still has palm oil added and sugar added. Can we please? Vons? I'm never shopping here again. Like this is so hard. I don't know how people shop at regular grocery stores like this. Honestly, is there no nut butter that is actually, let's see, what is this, open nature? This has honey and maple syrup added. Um, no artificial preservatives, 
diesel people. Um, dry roasted. Okay, finally. So this is a product that the literal only ingredient are dry roasted almonds and salt. That's probably the best option, but this is almond butter. This isn't even peanut butter. And it's like $10. This is crazy. I can't believe it. They don't actually, well, thank goodness I have plenty of peanut butter at home that I wasn't even gonna get some, but I would not purchase from here. There's literally nothing. It's sad. Okay, now, something that actually is on my list is bread. Now, I actually never buy bread. I haven't bought bread in a while, but my roommate got a loaf of bread and I ate like half of the loaf. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna replace that. And clearly, I like bread. So. I'm actually a huge fan of Dave's. Um, Dave's spread, they seem to be really good with their ingredients and everything, but still, um, let's take a look at this together, shall we? Holy moly, look at all of those ingredients. So we got, can you see that? Um, organic whole wheat, I like it how a lot it says organic. Organic cracked, organic king sugar, organic 21 grain, blah, blah, blah. Um, organic, 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 okay. Organic molasses, organic cr This looks pretty good to me. Um, if there's anything I'm concerned about, let me read this a little bit more slowly. This is a long list of ingredients. Um, basically flax. So if you see flax in bread, that's not gonna contain the good omega-3s that you want. If you wanna absorb your omega-3s from flax, they have to be kept cold and they have to be ground. Now this flaxseed in this bread is gonna act as good fiber, but you're not gonna be able to absorb it unless those seeds are kept cold, which obviously they weren't because they were baked into bread. Um, this has, like there's nothing that I see that's really concerning about this to me. I'm, at least nothing that's uh, popping out at me. Obviously this contains gluten, so if you're, gluten intolerant, which I am not, bread digests really well for me, then obviously you would avoid it. 260 mg's ALA omega-3, is that absorbed? I don't know, I don't get how they, do they add that back in? How'd they do that? Um, I don't really know. But I think I might go with the days. I'm pretty sure that my roommate got another brand that they don't have here, I think it's called Alpine something and it was really good. As far as bread goes, I recommend getting like whole wheat, multigrain, or sourdough. <gasps> I can't breathe. Sourdough is really good because it was fermented more, like the yeast, it was able to really ferment, so it's gonna be more easily digested and absorbed. If you have trouble with gluten or with bread, sourdough is good. Also, I read The Plant Paradox and after reading The Plant Paradox, I stopped buying brown rice. I stopped buying whole wheat things just because um, that's a lot of freaking fiber. It's a lot of fiber and having white rice, like in Japan, they don't have brown rice. They don't eat brown rice in Japan. They eat white rice and they're super healthy and I'm like, cool. So I've been switching it up. Like, I don't know, maybe I'll get sourdough instead because sourdough has less of that like indigestible fiber which can t cause some digestive upset for some people um but in general most people don't get enough fiber so adding in making sure you are getting like the whole grain is going to be better but for someone like me i'm an athlete i'm working out a lot i want things like i get plenty of fiber so i'm not worried about like all that extra fiber from the whole grains but it's not like i'm eating tons of bread every single day like we're gonna stop ranting about it. I hope that this helps. Yay! Oh, this is so annoying. I just tried to grab some salsa and this lady was like, I'm trying to stay six feet away for six feet away from everybody, excuse me. And I was like, um, okay. So I couldn't grab my salsa, so I'm trying to grab from another angle. Get some crazy people around here. All right, we got a bunch of different um, salsas going on here. I'm definitely gonna wanna find one that's organic just because I'm super passionate about helping the environment if if i can afford to support organic agriculture then i'm going to and it looks like the only organic option is this organics one um chunky salsa medium that sounds fine to me let's see um 
diced tomatoes, water, jalapeno, tomato paste, vinegar, dehydrated onion, a little organic cane sugar. Um, it says it includes zero grams of added sugars total. How is that possible? Well, it's one of the last ingredients, so that's good. So you know that by weight, this ingredients is listed. So if the sugar was number one, like on a lot of cereals, on a lot of cereals like freaking Lucky Charms, it'll say like whole grain, whatever, flour, and then it'll say sugar. So maybe it's 51% flour and 49% sugar. So that's good that it's one of the last ingredients listed is the sugar. And um, uh, I'm gonna go with this one. And what I'm doing is I'm cooking my tempeh. I'm, cook I'm using this to cook my tempeh and the tempeh is gonna soak it up. Ooh, this one's organic too. That's good. Organic tomato puree, diced tomatoes. Can you see that? Um, yeah, these are both fine. Does this one have sugar added? Diced tomatoes, bell peppers, garlic, vinegar, salt, cilantro, cumin, chipotle, pepper. I think I'm gonna go with this one because it doesn't have sugar added because that's just like silly. Like why would you add sugar? Um, this has zero sugar. Sodium, 100. I'm not concerned about the sodium. Oh wow, and the other one has more sodium. So this one looks healthier and it's organic and I'm gonna go with it. I don't think they have organic avocados here, but you know, it's okay if you wanna get anything that is not organic, if you're concerned about your budget or whatever, things that have a skin, things like bananas, avocados, less of a concern to your health. Um, you can check the clean 15 or dirty dozen list, but things like bananas, avocados, obviously you don't eat the skin. So um, those don't worry about getting organic necessarily as things like strawberries, apples, um, celery, you're gonna wanna get those organic for sure. I was gonna get tomatoes, but tomorrow there's a farmer's market and honestly like when tomatoes aren't in season or if they're not from the farmer's market, they just do not, the flavor does not compare. It does not compare. Like when it's a really good tomato, I'll eat it like an apple. It's like so sweet and delicious. Oh, and tomatoes, okay. Uh, I don't know if I can put this in my, I just was going to blend basil with this amazing heirloom tomato that I got from Farmer's Market. This guy, look at this tomato. Look at how juicy that is. It's so beautiful. Should I take a bite of it for you? Oh my god. It's so good. I'm just gonna eat this like this. This is so sweet. It's so fresh. So ripe. Do you know that a tomato a day keeps the dermatologist away? The antioxidant lycopene helps protect against sunburn. Mm -hmm. Also, lycopene is um, good for reducing your risk of prostate cancer. So, mm. that's just one little antioxidant in the tomatoes. Imagine all of the beautiful phytonutrients and antioxidants of all the fruits and vegetables that you eat. Fruits and vegetables do have the most amazing healing power. I don't know why people don't believe in them. It's okay, that's enough. And the tomatoes here are just so hard. Like, I feel like they're not gonna be like really a delicious tomato like I really want, so I'm gonna wait on the tomatoes. Okay, pro tip, not a Walmart tomato does not taste the same as a farmer's market tomato. It's completely different. Okay, I just wanna say I remember why I don't shop here that often, and it's because there's like no organic options. Like, I'm way too s snobby uh, to buy mushrooms that are not organic. So, uh, we're gonna go to the, to the organic grocery store, but um, let's see what we got going on here. I don't even know if they have tempeh. Like I was planning on getting seitan and tempeh and um, I'm not seeing any seitan or tempeh. So I'm just gonna go with some tofu. Make sure it's organic. I like it nice and firm. Um, and yeah. I was 
gonna get frozen corn, but I'm not going to because there's no organic corn. I will not, okay, wait, this says organic corn on the cob. Um, but yeah, I don't see any organic that's not on the cob. Yeah, people, I'm super, 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 <gasps> oh wait, I think this is it. Organic golden no GMOs. Okay, people will say that that's not that important. Every vote with our dollar makes a huge difference. Okay, if we're if we all think that it doesn't matter, then obviously that doesn't help. And I'm gonna be the person that relentlessly does what I can to make sure that my corn is organic. Um, especially going to school in Indiana at Purdue where there's so much genetically modified corn. The genetically modified corn makes it so that they can spray, 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 spray with so much pesticides. And it messes with the whole entire ecosystem, messes with our soil. And gosh, I just love supporting organics. Like organics, you can actually have bees repopulate and lots and lots, like the whole ecosystem. I don't want to get into it anymore and rant about it, but Please be relentless about your non-GMO organic soy products and corn and corn products, okay? Oh my god, wow, I love this. Even in like the most, you know, the least um, organic options of a grocery store, I love how they have so many non-dairy options for milk. Like 10 years ago, this was not a thing. And how awesome is it that Michael Phelps is on the freaking silk carton? I'm gonna support this. Um, this is a special treat for me, for sure. This is like a special treat for my smoothies. I'm really, really excited about this. And um, yeah, I'm gonna support this product. Hell yeah. Actually, I'm gonna get the unsweetened one. But you know, it's actually really easy to um, make your own soy milk with tofu. If you just blend tofu with a date and some vanilla with water, you can make your own soy milk without all these added gums and things. But actually like, I don't mind this. Organic soybeans and filtered water and it just has some added um, vitamin D, calcium carbonate, yeah, whatever, natural flavor, vitamin A, like this is, this is fortified and I actually appreciate this, like having folate, that's not bad. I don't need any more folate, I don't need any of these things, but you know having that b12 whatever i'm gonna i'm gonna get it i'm gonna support this product and i'm honestly a fan of fortified and processed foods lately like i'm not afraid of them like i used to be i think it's all good all good in the hood there's a super long line to check out so i just wanted to show you my cart here so i got my frozen corn i got kale organic tofu um i'm definitely gonna go shopping again and get seitan and tempeh i've got an onion kale cauliflower i'm gonna um steam this and blend it up with some nutritional yeast and some garlic and make a really bomb cheese out of it and lemon juice i got romaine lemons an orange uh bell pepper a couple of avocados and a cucumber um cucumber i, I should have grabbed some celery too because i've been juicing a lot lately like the celery lemon cucumber so bomb and of course we got my special treat mr michael on here so that's the haul for today as we are waiting in this beautiful long line next to all the budweiser um i just wanted to share with you a couple of the ingredients on the milk wow my hair looks really good a couple of the ingredients on the milk that you might be questioning one of those is the calcium carbonate and basically what that all that is all that is is um, fortifying the milk with extra calcium. So as you know, people want to drink dairy milk for the calcium. It's helpful for people who um, want to make sure they're getting enough calcium, who aren't getting enough calcium to have that fortified in their milk and to have it be comparable to a dairy milk. So that's what calcium carbonate is. It's simply fortifying the milk with more calcium. And then the other ingredients were of course fortified with the B2, B2, the riboflavin and things like that. And then the other thing I wanted to mention was the gallon gum, which in food science we learned that these gums 
although it seems like like um, carrageenan. Everybody's like, oh no, carrageenan is so bad for you, blah, blah, blah. I mean, I did learn in food science that carrageenan and these different gums, what they do is they help to keep the liquid from separating. So instead of having to shake and shake and shake and shake the carton every time you want to drink it, which I still like automatically do, but basically it keeps all the particles in place these gums it keeps it that consistency and it keeps all the particles in place and usually it's actually derived from things like seaweed and natural things like that so although I'm not honestly I'm not hundred percent sure on the safety of gelin gum or what that's derived from um, I will say it's probably used in really trace amounts and it's probably generally of course considered safe if they're using it in this product However, I, um, I do recommend in general, like we don't want to be eating lots of foods that have all these gums, all these preservatives, all these additives. We don't want the majority of our diet to um, be all just fillers and gums and things like that, obviously. So don't be too afraid of things like carrageenan and these gums. Like if it helps you eat generally plant-based, generally healthy diet and um, stay away from dairy, which is like way worse because obviously dairy you have all those <gasps> in dairy you have lots of hormones and you're contributing so much to animal suffering and environmental factors just from cow farts and things like that not to mention like we're not baby cows like we are not meant to eat dairy at all and it's really been shown to be causing inflammation and lots of problems like everybody's skin clears up Everybody feels so much better when they stop having dairy. So instead of being too nitty gritty and like avoiding the gallon gum, make sure you're avoiding your dairy <laughs> and choose the soy milk. And hell, I'm blending up some spinach and making a bomb ass uh, smoothie with this. So yeah, don't worry about it. Whew, geez, all right. So it ended up being like $40, which is dope. So I'm gonna do another quick grocery haul probably in the middle of the week and get some more things but um i hope you enjoyed this i hope you have a beautiful freaking day take a deep breath oh, wow i love taking care of myself i love grocery shopping i love how i'm setting myself up to feel my best and like really taking this as an act of self-care and feeling like i'm grounded and yeah i got myself taken care of you know it's not a waste of time sometimes it can feel like it's a waste to cook meals or to go grocery shopping but god i love opening the fridge and seeing delicious food in there and yeah i do i do whatever it takes to not get a bag i have my backpack full and i'm carrying a couple of things i don't want them to use a bag on me but i love you give this video a thumbs up if you liked it let me know what questions you have if you have not yet subscribed hit that big red subscribe button and hit me up on Instagram at vitamin.katie. I love you so much. Have a beautiful day. Bye.